We'll guide you through how to install Fabric in Minecraft 1.21.8. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. As you probably know, Minecraft Fabric is a mod loader. It's going to allow you to go and run Fabric mods. So to get started with this, we need to come and close out of the game. On the desktop, go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll go and open up Chrome. And then what you want to do is go and type in Fabric Minecraft like this. You want to go to fabricmc.net. At the top, you want to go and press download and you can then go and press download for Windows. If you aren't using Windows, you can go and get the jar. Click there and it will go and download. We're gonna also gonna get the Fabric API as this will be needed for a lot of mods. So go and click on it. And then what you want to do is go and press files and you want to make sure we get it for the same version, which is 1.21.8. So go to the right, press the three dots and press download file. Now go and wait. Just to go and guide you through this as well, we can go and get a mod. So I've now gone and downloaded it. It has been blocked, so if I go and click on it, I'll press download suspicious file. It's fine, I've got it before. We can then press back, and we'll go and press um, mods at the top here. What we can do is go and scroll down to game version and select 1.21.8, and we can go and see the different mods here. We'll select fabric as well, and then what we can do is go and see the different mods here we could go and get. For example, I'll get waystones, I'll click on it and press files. Then what we can do is go and find it for fabric and for 1.21.8. Press the three dots to the right and we can press download file. Now go and wait. We've now downloaded what we're going to need, but before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server, so if you're in need of one, check out the link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And right now you can go and get yourself a discount as well. What we can do is you can go and scroll down and you can go and see the different features here. For example, automated backups, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, and so many other great benefits as well, as well as instant setups so you can get playing as soon as you get your server. So many great benefits, I'll check them out down below. But to continue with the guide, we can come out of our web browser. You need to go and open up your downloads. Come straight to them or open your file explorer and press downloads to the left. Find the installer and double click on it. If you go and pop up like this, make sure you select 1.21.8 and you can press install. We've now successfully installed it, we can press OK. Press search at the bottom and type in Minecraft Launcher. Go to the top and press installations and you need to go and scroll down. You want to go make sure we get Fabric Loader for 1.21.8 and hover over it. Press the file or folder icon to the right and the installations will open. Scroll down and you want to go and find the mods folder. Now if you're strong to go and find it, I've got mine just here. You can always go and right click in some blank space and create one. Come into it when you have it. And then what you can do is you can come to your downloads. And what we need to do is go and add in the API and any mod you've got. You may have multiple mods, it doesn't matter, but just make sure they're all for 1.21.8. Then you can return to the launcher, hover over Fabric Loader and press play to the right. I had this error here. It looks like we need to go and get Balm Fabric. I'll return to Curse Forge and get it. I've gone and found it here. Just make sure you get it for 1.21.8 and for Fabric. Add it into the mods folder and we can then play Fabric again. This will be different depending upon the mod you've got, but in this case, I can go and see the Waystone, which is what I installed. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. If you found this useful, then leave a like.